everybody. Welcome to the Cannabis Wiki Conference and Expo 2022 from London, Ontario. We got a lot of new hot interviews coming up next. See you on the green room. Welcome to the green room. We're here at the Cannabis Wiki Conference and Expo at first. the Western Fair. Yes, Jackie, the first. <laughs> yes. First annual. At the first Western annual. Fair District. And uh, yeah, we're uh, excited to be here. And we have uh, A&L Labs, one of our uh, big sponsors and part of the London community. Uh, we have Brian and uh, Daryl from a &L Labs here. Hey, welcome guys. Welcome to the green room. Yeah, happy to be here. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for joining us here and thank you for supporting us. Yeah, we really appreciate that. And t why don't you tell our listeners what a &L Labs is? Well, they're the best lab in Canada. Well, we know that at the green room. Right. We know that. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they, um, you yeah. know, if, if you're not using a &L Labs, what do you do? <laughs> That's right. All right. You want to tell us, Daryl? Is that what we do? Yeah. Yeah. So we're a full analytical testing lab. Uh, we, we help growers grow the plants. We, we tell them the nutrients in their plants, the nutrients in their soil. We'll... Uh, We'll give them recommendations on how to grow the plants, and then we'll we'll help them with all the QA stuff they need, all the way through to Health Canada testing to make sure their potency is right and uh, the product's clean. And the product's clean, mm -hmm. which is definitely what. So they're an integral part of the chain. So I might have smoked some weed that ANL Labs has had their hands on. Yeah, I mean, sure. of course, absolutely. True, yeah, for sure. For they have a significant part of the market share, so there's no doubt that you have, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> probably not the same. We don't give it back, so we just test it and it's real. We don't, it's probably not the same. We don't give it back. You don't? Do you smoke it? <laughs> tell it. Oh, you That's can't the tell. Real testing. That's is the real is test. that the secret, though? They're not allowed to give out any of the behind the scenes secret that you just drive a big truck with a shitload of weed pulp at the end of your night. Yeah, that lot number four was really good. <laughs> we can neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> See, like he's being quiet. So, what do you do with ANL Labs, Brian? And yes. you're all over social media. Yeah, well, I try and keep up with you. Yeah, I'm, you're trying. I'm, I'm, failing. I'm <laughs> failing. So I'm business development for uh, Canada. So, yeah, we look after. I started with ANL four plus years ago before legalization, and um, dealing with all the license holders and and, and small gr home growers as well, right up to all the all the big uh, you know top five LPs. So Ooh. it's been fun. It's been great. What do so you? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead, I was going to say, what do you think of us bringing a conference to London since mm. ANL Labs is London? What do you think about Southern Ontario's desperate need for this? Oh, for sure. It's great. You know, um, I, you know, it, it's nice that it's local for sure. And we like to support local and uh, it's nice not having to get on a plane to go to a conference. But uh, yeah, it's, it's good. At, or pay $50 to park at, in, and drive forever to Toronto. And because sure. I mean, all of us in the industry, we're busting ass there all and ass there every other weekend, pretty much. Yeah, especially <laughs> this last seven weeks. Eh? Yes, Crazy. for sure. Well, yeah. And, you know, we're in a convenient spot in Ontario, right? Because 65% of Canada's license holders yeah. are in Ontario. So, you know, shipping's quick and uh, we have fast turnaround time. So, yeah, that's good. So you did mention, Brian, home growers. So a &L Labs, if I'm a home grower, I can send my uh, cannabis to be tested by a &L Labs. It's not just for the big boys. That's right. Um, yeah, if they're 19 years old, have a physical address and we check the boxes for the Health Canada regs, right? Um, mm -hmm. We can test for them. Oh, that's really? Yeah. So I can get my I need to do that. Yeah. Oh, so is what's the turnaround on that? What happened? Like, how do, and how do you do? How would I do that? I have some weed that I grew myself, but I want to test it. I want to. Yeah, so you could, like there's a submission form to fill out, but uh, once you do that, um, you could send it by courier yep. to our lab. Um, and then. Uh, and you'll send me back like a full printout analysis of everything? A full CLA, just like the, the big boys get. And um, yeah. And what well, is. How do you send it? Like we just send a sample of the actual cannabis? Oh yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Because, you know, we tried something on the green room where oh. they sent us this thing and then you had to do all this kind of like it was felt like a science uh, oh my experiment goodness. You where you got to grind it up then yeah. you got to put it in here then only add this amount of drop well jackie got so frustrated she just ended up put it dumping the weed in there and sipping it off <laughs> yeah i spilt everything in the package after but 
it was 90 minutes. It says right on yeah. the thing, a 20 minute step. Da, da, da. We were in 90 minutes and I still, it was inside. Then I realized it was inside upside down and backwards and there wasn't enough. So I took everything out. I just put a bunch of nugs in the package. I right. taped it up. I said, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Send this back to us with, with the whatever we need here. Yeah, it was just too much. So to be able to send it to someone else, why do I not know about this? Do you know how many people ask me where can they send their weed? In mm-hmm. Canada, you can send it anywhere you want. So we can, so they literally send you the flower, fill yes. out the forms, do the paperwork, do the whatever you need to do. It, yep, it's all on our website, yep. yep. And it's all on your web. What's your website? Uh, alcannabislabs.com. Is it? Yep. Is it on the side of my glasses? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so it's AL Cannabis. Yep. You put cannabis in the name. That's yeah. like Cannabis Wiki. You guys are, have, yeah, playing with fire. Websites. Oh, do you? you have two <laughs> and the other one's A&L Labs? Yeah, yeah. AL okay. Canada Labs. AL Canada Labs. They only Labs. to each other, so you can't get lost. Okay. Yeah. So we can go on there and we can find out how to test our... Yeah, just go to submission forms. Uh, just fill out your information. Check the box. Put your name, your sample. Put five grams or two grams in a bag and send it. Put <laughs> five. The two is what they need for testing, but the extra three. <laughs> it's a tip. It's like a tip. <laughs> there you go. Right. It's a thanks so much. It depends if you want. If you want an average, or if you just want a, uh, <laughs> That's so a little cool. bit for you, a little bit for me. So he's like, "What's this conversation on the green room going to be like? Are you guys going to ask me hard questions?" I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> how, do we, how do we give you weed? <laughs> so Daryl, what do you do at uh, in Labs? And I know we had a conversation before about irradiation and I know that you're um, you work with the clients I think to maximize their yield and potency and stuff maybe tell our viewers a little bit about what you do yeah so uh, I started in 2017 mainly doing lab operations to set the new cannabis lab up that's sort of when we started 2016 2017 and then uh, I've transitioned recently now I mainly do tech support and help Brian with some of the client management so i still am in the lab helping a bit but i don't i don't test the weed anymore so right but yeah it's mainly people call me they want to know the limits uh help with regulations and stuff so half of it's just helping them lab science stuff isn't everybody's forte so i help them navigate that yeah you help them help them yeah <laughs> but and, and do you smoke weed uh, a little bit on the weekends. A little bit on the weekends. <laughs> or, or I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> I'd be sleeping in. Do you, Brian? Yes, a little bit. <laughs> the same thing. I'm a lightweight. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Just know. seeing. Just wanted to know. Yeah. Do you usually talk about your personal or no? You're like, no, we're here for business. No personal, Jackie. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay. Actually, yeah. my wife and her friend came to watch your panel just recently. They were excited to see it. So oh. They were just... They came down. Thank you. I yeah. like that, actually. Yeah. My wife and her friend came to see you. Yeah, they love, they love, <laughs> they love the panel you guys just had. So. It was good. Yeah, we had a women in, weed, a women in cannabis panel, and yeah. we were talking about cannabis <laughs> and women. Yeah. So where does... Where My will, two favorite things, Jackie. Yes, women <laughs> and cannabis. See, sometimes he's looking around, and I'm like, and then he goes, ah, I gotcha, women and cannabis. Those are my two favorite things right there. Where does ANL Labs see? Like, where is ANL Labs going? Like, I know you're busy and there's a lot going on, and I don't know anyone who hasn't heard of ANL Labs in this space, especially in Ontario, Canada. So, where do you see yourself going? What's next for you guys? Oh, that's for me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, just it's just really um, continuing to support. We're, we're expanding big expansion right now to expand both our agricultural division and our cannabis. Uh, just offer better service to more clients. Uh, trying to get more of the micros a lot of them are struggling with you know they're new to the space they don't know where to go what a lab does so i spent a lot of time helping newer lps uh, oh, okay. it's just continue with good support did we, you say out east um no oh. uh support uh, oh. for the micros all oh. through canada we're west to east coast okay so you know most of our most of the lps are ontario like brian said but we deal with a significant in bc and right and all through canada and brian you're biz dev so how's biz uh, business good. We yeah, it, it keeps growing, right? Yeah. You know, everybody wants safe, uh, quality weed, and and we yeah. can test it and do that. And we're kind of unique versus the other uh, cannabis testing labs in that we can test the soil, the water. We can test for disease. You have maybe heard of uh, hop latent viroid? What? Um, hop latent <laughs> viroid. It's a viroid that attacks a plant and decreases. And it's hop latent. It hops. Hop like it's beer. Hop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Hop latent viroid. Viroid? Yeah. With a V? Yep. yep. Oh, ugh, I don't even like that word. <laughs> so what do you do? How do you get rid of that? Uh, you can send it to a tissue culture lab and they uh, they clean it up. It can take four to six months. 
Wow. But uh, yeah, so that decreases yield and THC. So that's not we're good. We're starting mm. to get a little sciency here. Yeah, and I, I think yeah. science is sexy. I love that. I'm like, it's way over my head, but I'll listen. <laughs> okay. So now, like, we what we want to know is who has the most potent cannabis that you've ever tested? Are you allowed to say? Oh, we can't, we can't name names. Okay. Oh. But what is the most potent? What's okay? Tell us roughly. Can you describe the What most about potent? the strain? Can you say, can you disclose that? No, not even. Oh, no, my God. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys. It's strange. Well, this is the green room, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, since yeah. you can't play the game. <laughs> you, you know what? So you get right. back to. Uh, you know, people that can grow, like cannabis is a plant, right? Yeah. That happens to produce cannabinoids and terpenes, mm -hmm. both for recreational and medicinal, as yeah. you know. So we find the people that deliver the, the highest THC and quality product are guys that, that understand the plant, plant science, agronomy, right? And, plant and science. That you have to grow a good plant to get great Wait, THC. Wait, what was the word for the plant science? In agronomy. Agronomy? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, that's all about, you know, all the... Providing you what province were they in? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Derek still. I want to know about the weed because uh, I'm going to uh, find uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> Ontario, BC. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. That, that, that narrows it down. <laughs> we know not to look in Quebec. <laughs> but there's there's some great, great flower. Okay. Do you have a favorite? Do you have something that in memory that stood out or something that you're like, wow, that's really great? Uh, I guess, you know, from some of our initial accounts, right? Like, you know, Broken Coast. Tantalus, oh yeah yeah like you know bc and yeah you know, tantalus is here today yeah, yeah. like afria has some great stuff oxley nice. i don't know they all like there's so much there's stuff. some right. I, it's cool i i get it too when i we're supposed to when we judge and we have to whatever i'm like it's pretty cool that like weed's legal right now this is really cool what they're doing this might smell really good this is sticky this smokes beautifully but oh i love this whole brand mark like this we we see it all here at the green room yeah yeah for sure <laughs> derek just wants to know where you can get that weed do you test hash Oh yeah, yep. Hash, so, uh, keef, extracts, vapor. Keef. So people send edibles. in their keef, like their keef, and get it tested. Oh yeah, yeah. That's H wow. Well, it's a product you can buy on the, uh, you know, right. the market, right? So anything that goes in the market has to be tested. So yeah, sometimes people will make cookies at home and send them in too. So really? Wow. Oh, that's what percentage of the business is the? I mean, it's probably a like very small very one. Very small, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys yeah. planning on growing that? Well, I mean, that's sort of what we were talking about, like dealing with some of the smaller. Uh, Producers, Micros, or yeah. even, or even just even the homeowners, make it easy for them. Right. Because if, if they want to send it, it's a lab process. So, you know, we want that to be easy and automated mm -hmm. um, for them to do it. But it's it's not going to be a big part of the business because they're not going to spend a lot of money testing their weed and right. their cookies when they could just eat them. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> what there, about? Yeah, go ahead. I was going to ask what a cost. Roughly, what's the cost? Right. To send in your own home, like your own stuff. Is it economical? Yeah, to do a TAC test, $100 to $150. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow, so I had no idea. It's not crazy. Those prices have been coming down in the industry as everything gets competitive. and. That's know, really, really, that's not, that's yeah. 99 bucks to test my yeah. 100 bucks. For a total to, TAC, sorry, total 100. CBD, yeah. yeah mm. That's really good. I love that. It's not bad. Huh. Yeah, you don't You're, have to do any work yourself. We just ship I, it. So you know, you see, that's the thing. That's why I feel like there's something there. Yeah. Because that, it's like, you know, you guys, you're not, the, from the other products we've seen on the market, it's garbage. So it's like, if you can just oh, send it in. Just stuff it in a bag, send it to us. Yeah, I love that. Like, that's what, Brian isn't that shows what you up, said? you whip the bag at him. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. That's what, I, I really wanted to test the weed and I, I thought know. it was really cool that now we all can grow four plants and that right. everyone's cooking, doing the DIY stuff. They're mm -hmm. making sponsors, they're making edibles, they're making whatever. Why can't we test it? Yeah, we can. Why, we can. We can, but, yeah. but the way to test was so difficult. Right. I was like, it, this is not. It yeah. used to be for sure, yeah. And yeah. now it's, now no, it's it, not. If you have a home recipe, and you're extracting your own cannabis with some oil and then you want to see what it ends up in the cookie or whatever right. you're making you can do that once know your process works and then you feel confident you know sharing that out or using it yourself that's really cool yeah. really really cool yeah like i've got a friend he's he's uh diagnosed with brain cancer Aww. so we actually i made him some uh, rso oil at home nice. and uh and then sent it to the lab of course to get it tested to make sure everything's uh you know oh, yeah, better than health canada regulations you probably didn't pay for it though <laughs> oh, you Ooh. snuck a lab test. <laughs> it's R and D, he said. <laughs> oh, that's somebody right here on the green room live. We got Brian just sold himself out. And so like I did a test and then he's like, 
a, probably a free test, right? <laughs> I thought we were friends, Daryl. Yeah, it's yeah, it perk of the job. Right? And it was for a good cause. It was for a beautiful oh, cause. Right. You, right. you made your own RSO. I like hearing that. Yeah. We like hearing about What about press. your educational content? I know that you guys were putting out a lot of educational content about growing and you had uh, partnered with Hawthorne and that uh, is Greg still keeping up with that? How's that going? Yeah, we put out um, like webinars and sometimes right. it's cannabis related, sometimes it's general agronomy, yep. uh, plant science. And, um, you know, we are going to continue to do those and make shorter ones. Uh, and you know, Greg's doing some research with some LPs on trying to look at final quality, subjective smokability at, at the final on the final flower and what the nutrient was going into that. So that'll continue. Nice. Um, you know, I write some small uh, information pamphlets to clients about regulation stuff, but that's on a different side. So mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that we leave to the consultants, right? That's why they have jobs. So. Like, <laughs> I'm wondering, like, because uh, LSO is getting really big. Right. Like, do people, can people What's send LSO? Uh, living soil or Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Can they send the um, soil to be sampled by you guys too? Oh, yeah. We do full soil testing for nutrients, but we also have a, a biological division and they develop mm -hmm. Uh, microbial interpretations of the soil so we have a plant health and um, it, it goes on for that's a big thing that we are working on outside of cannabis specifically is all the biologicals and the, the soil health indexing so yeah. that's great and they can send it in they can make their own organic soil and, and and send it will tell them the quality of the microbials in it and then they can they change it they can test again and see if it goes up and down and it's you know, fifty to one hundred dollars for a test for that kind of very. That's fascinating yeah. to me. I think that's amazing. So fifty to one hundred dollars to test your your living soil. So that you, wow, yeah. Yeah. I think that's really cool. The price of gas is going up. The price of testing is going down, <laughs> <Okay>. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit at home and smoke weed. <laughs> Grow it, smoke it. Grow it, smoke it. That's my pattern. Yeah. <laughs> so that was so. How do are like someone that would want to come to you that would need you how do they find you online how do they find you across your socials you gave us our website earlier but what's your social media yeah twitter uh at al cannabis labs.com yep mm -hmm. um pretty much is and, that you i pretty or do you much have a team? It. and then okay. we have a team okay yeah, yeah. yeah a bit of both and do you use instagram or no you didn't No, that they route. shut her account down how, oh how yeah. many followers did you have uh, it's like 3,000. Like it, it's, that is so it's heartbreaking. Funny. I'm really sorry. Have you tried to get it back? We tried and spent like 50 hours on it. And so just too just, bad. It's just, just yeah. what a pain in the ass. Well, Derek's going to come up with something for that. We're going to fix that Instagram garbage. Nice. It's too much. It's terrible. So it's terrible. So yeah. we'll find you a &L Labs on, yeah. on Twitter. And then the website again. Uh, alcannabislabs.com and that's where we can find you to test our soils and so like I think this is really great and I think the more home growers and the more people that are doing all this DIY stuff they're growing it themselves so yeah. this is amazing they Absolutely. can test their soil thanks for joining us on yeah, the green room guys yeah, thank, thank you, you. thank you Daryl awesome. and Brian from ANL Labs boom thanks, guys. Thanks.